SpongeBob in the background. <laughs> Copyright. That's all right. Ooh. <laughs> Are they hard to build? Yeah, it's a little frustrating. Just honestly, this is the most frustrating part of us getting the shoes in. Yeah. They look good though. Don't you like the lice? The yeah. lice. The nice black faux They're leather. Nice. But. I mean, what a glow up. These are old. <laughs> These are old, stained, crickety bar stools I got off Facebook Marketplace for like 30 bucks when we first moved in like three years ago. Wow. What a transformation. We got these bar stools as an early Christmas present from our friend. So thank you, Kyler, for the early Christmas present. Even though he's probably not watching this at all. That's okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I have no idea. I try not to look to see who subscribed to me. Because I don't want to know. You don't want to know? I don't want to know. <laughs> who watches my videos, I don't want to know. <laughs> These are actually very comfortable. Well, wow. highly recommend. You like the back looks a lot different. It looks so much better. Ah, uh. love it. Cheers. We did it. Oh yeah, Cheers. we did the thing. Yeah, that's Yay. it. Yay! <laughs> I'll call Steven to see like why did you turn this off? Because I think we should probably turn it back on. <laughs> it was done a year ago. More than a year ago. Um. So. From your experience, we should just turn this back on and we should put all the people in the Right? And that should what we should do. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10? Day 9? I honestly don't know what day it is. My days have just been jumbled up lately, but um, I just wanted to get on here and just talk to you a little bit and just think, just talk through my thoughts. Um, it is like 5 o'clock right now on a Thursday and I have been thinking a lot and going through a lot and I'm just... I just need to talk about it. I just need to let it out. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do right now. I just wanna talk about it and I just want, I just, I just need to talk, I just need to let it out. So, um, <laughs> so I've been working all day, obviously it's Thursday, and I've just been reflecting a lot lately and I've been thinking a lot about my future and what I want. Um, and sorry if this is like rambly and just like, weird and like just a mess i just have lots of thoughts in my head um they're just kind of running rampant but um i've just there was a lot of different things that made me come to this conclusion <laughs> but i think i might be having like a quarter life crisis but not even like a crisis it's like a good one if that makes any sense so let me just backtrack let me just go backwards and we'll start from the beginning so um as I kind of explained a couple videos ago, that I got this new job, this work from home remote job, um, still in higher education, still working, at, I'm working at a university now, and I am making the most money I've ever made, um, which is still not even that much money, but that's fine. Um, I am making the most money I've ever made, and I'm working from home, which is great, and yeah, and when this job opportunity came to me, I was super excited for it because I was able to basically just grow and challenge myself and just be in a new environment and just do something totally different I've never done before. And I was really excited for this job. And then I started this job and it became very quickly known to me that this job was not necessarily what I wanted. It was not necessarily what I thought it was gonna be. Um, not that I think this job was like falsely advertised or anything. It's just the way that I interpreted this job is a lot different than what it actually is. And obviously that's no one's fault. It's just kind of how it happened. It's just kind of how the cookie crumbled, if you will. But because of that, I am now, three months later, I am now in a spot where 
I am supposed to be fully trained in this job and fully know what I'm doing and I don't and I am starting to like lose my passion for higher education um, and this all sounds really sad but I, I promise it's okay um, I'm okay um, I've just kind of realized that through this job that a I shouldn't even really have this job I've got I, I got extremely lucky um, and I am grateful for this job but I got extremely lucky with this because everyone I work with almost everyone that I work with has a master's degree I have an associate's degree that's it I don't have a bachelor's I don't have a master's I don't have certificates I have nothing I literally have an associate's degree and almost everyone that I work with on the same level as me has masters and I just feel like that's not right. Like, I feel like that's just not, that's not how it should be. Now, obviously, going through the hiring process, the supervisor and the hiring committee saw that, like, they knew, and obviously, a master's degree isn't required. And, like, obviously, I was hired for good reasons. I had the right experience. My, I interviewed well. Like, obviously, I was hired because they wanted me, and I was a good candidate. Like, obviously, I'm not diminishing my, I'm not diminishing me as an employee at all. But, to me... I know that this job was something that kind of fell into my lap. It was an opportunity and I ran with it and I took it, which is great because that's what you should do with opportunities like this. But the more that I'm at this job, I'm slowly realizing that A, this is not exactly what I wanted and that's okay. I'm allowed to change my mind. I am allowed to figure it out and start over and go from there. And that's kind of where I'm at. I'm kind of realizing that this job isn't necessarily what I thought it was gonna be and it isn't necessarily what I want to be doing. And I've just slowly kind of realized that I think I'm just losing my passion for higher education. I have served my time in higher education and I have done the thing and I have learned the things and I have had the passion for it and I think it's just slowly starting to dwindle down and that's okay. I mean, I never thought I was going to be in higher education. I didn't go to school for that specifically. I, it, it was another thing that I just fell into that just became an opportunity that I just went with and the more that I liked it and I liked the roles in it, I liked my coworkers and I liked the atmosphere and I liked what it was all about. I just kind of stuck with it. And I've done that for, I've done that since, I don't know, 2017, 2016. And it's now almost 2022. I'm older, my life is different now, I'm married now. Like everything about me is different. And I think this was like the last part of me that needed to change. And so I, think i don't know this is what i'm talking about this is why i needed to like talk about it and let it out and like think about what was going on but i think i am ready to leave higher education i know that sounds crazy because i've only been in this job for three months i kind of feel like a shithead because i've only been this job in this job for three months and the people on my team we it's a kind of a small team it's only like maybe six or seven people two of them are leaving and so we're currently hiring and i'm on a hiring committee and now i think i want to leave i mean i kind of feel shitty about it but also at the same time i'm like i am i need to take control of my own happiness and if this isn't what i want to do then this isn't what i want to do it has nothing against my supervisor i love my supervisor it has nothing to do with my co-workers it has nothing to do with any of that it is simply this is not the line of work i want to be in anymore it just isn't and that's okay, everything is okay, it's fine. I think I'm coming to the realization that like, this isn't a horrible thing, this isn't like a detrimental thing. I think for a long time I was afraid to figure out what I wanted to do and I just relied on higher education to get me through it because it was, it was there and it was easy and I knew how to do it and I was good at it and I just kind of thought, well I'll just do this I guess. Even though it wasn't necessarily what I really wanted to do, it was just there. Well now, I know what I want to do, but it's going to take me some time to get there, and that's okay because I have a plan, I got it figured out, I don't want to announce it because it's not there yet and I don't want to prematurely, I don't want to prematurely do anything yet with it, so. But for the first time ever in my life, in my almost 24 years of existence, I finally know what I want to do, which is such a relieving thing because for the better part of my like i mean for the first half of my life really my life had no direction i mean the first half of my life i was 12 years old i mean obviously but like it was always well, what do you want to be when you grow up and it was like i want to be a teacher i want to be whatever like i don't know what i want to do and then you get in high school 
and people start asking, well, where are you going to college? What do you want to do? And I changed my major so, so, so many times. I was an interior design major. I switched to liberal arts. I switched to psychology. I switched to event planning. I like, I just couldn't make up my mind. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I dropped out of college because at that point I was losing money. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was going to college because there was a social pressure that I needed to go to college that I had to do it. And otherwise I was a failure, even though I didn't know what I wanted to do. The degree was going to be useless because it wasn't going towards anything. And it was basically like I was just playing a part and I was just going and going and going, not even really knowing why. And so I dropped out and I started focusing on the jobs that I already had. I started focusing on higher education because it was there and I was good at it. And now finally, for the first time ever in my life, I know what I want to do and I'm so passionate about it and I'm so excited. And I've known for a long time, I, I've actually known for several years that this is what I wanted to do, but I've been too afraid to make that jump. I've been too afraid to pursue it because I just felt like it was too unconventional. It was going to fail. It was too, it, it wasn't, I don't know. It just wasn't good enough, I guess. And for a long time that scared me and I had a really hard problem with comparing myself with other people and comparing myself with their accomplishments. Now don't get me wrong, I still compare myself to almost everyone all the time. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm a lot better, but I still do it. But for the first time ever in my life, I'm finally like, I know what I want to do. I know how to get there. I just need time to get there. And in the meantime, while I get there, I don't want to be stuck doing this. I don't want to be stuck doing higher education because I don't want this anymore. Like, it's not bringing me joy. It's not filling my bucket anymore. And it's just really exciting, honestly, to be able to know that and to be able to take that confidence and like, okay, now in the meantime, while I f work on this other thing that I really want to do, I get to have fun now. I get to go explore other career options. I get, because now instead of being in the mindset of like, oh, I gotta find a job. This is gonna be the job I'm gonna be at for years and years and years. I gotta be really good at it. It's gonna take a lot of training. It's like a big girl job. Like instead of that mindset, now it's like I can move on and I can go explore things that maybe i am interested in i don't know it kind of sounds cool but i've never thought about it really that way before but now i have an opportunity to go into those those job options and just see what i like and what i don't like and just have fun with it i feel like there's like this huge weight lifted off my shoulders and now i can actually just go do and try out and apply for the jobs that maybe won't work maybe i won't like them but i won't know unless i try because the thing that I really want to do, that I'm really going to try for, it, will be playing on in the background. And I basically just need something to fill my days, to pay the bills essentially, to get me through it. But because it's, there's such a low pressure, I can choose whatever I want. And that is so great. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I just, I just wanted to share. I just wanted to talk about it. Maybe someone out there that's listening to this is in a similar situation. Maybe not. Maybe you're stuck in the situation that I was in a couple years ago where you're just kind of like, I don't really know what my direction is. So I'm just staying here because it pays the bills and it works and it's a job. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being in that situation. But I think that life is too short to be unhappy. Life is way too damn short to do things that don't actually make you happy. If you get up in the morning every single day and you dread going to your job, that's a red flag. Something that's happening there, that's a red flag. That is not how you're supposed to live your life. You're not supposed to wake up every single day and hate your job, hate the place that you are majority of your time, hate your coworkers, that's not normal. You should enjoy where you work and you should enjoy who you're spending your time with because whether we like it or not, your supervisor and your coworkers and the office that you work in and your atmosphere or whatever the environment is, if you are working that 40 hours a week, maybe even more, that is a huge chunk of your life that you are spending you're, that you're spending there. And if you don't like that, that's a huge chunk of your life. Just, I don't want to say wasted, but that's a huge chunk of your life that you are not using to the fullest potential and being unhappy. And that is just something I've, I've learned over the past year and something that I'm now just trying to advocate for and just really make it known that like, Life is too short. I want to do what I want to do that makes me happy. And if that means 
taking a risk and maybe hurting someone's feelings by quitting my current job and getting a new fun job, that's what I'm gonna do because it's my life and I need to do what makes me happy. So that's my little rant. That's my little snippet of information. That's my life advice for you. <laughs> so hopefully this resonated with someone listening. I don't know if it did. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Hopefully, whenever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, if you're watching this, you're having a great day or night or afternoon or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think, I think the new year is going to be, I think it's gonna be good. I think there's gonna be good things coming. So with that, I will see you guys tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 10, 11. I don't know what day it is, whatever the title says. <laughs>